Hi there, Logic Language Learners. I hope you're all really well. So this is a video that is doing the homework that one of my students sent me. So a uh, very nice, very nice girl, Natasha. Beautiful girl, beautiful brain. Um, uh, and I don't do people's homework for them, but if somebody sends me their homework, I will more than happily explain to them uh, I'll do a video on it, I'll WhatsApp them privately, I'll explain what they need to be doing. So if anybody's studying for anything on a course and you don't understand it, by all means send in the homework because it's really useful for everybody else who's learning to see the kind of homework that you've got. So by all means send in your French homework. I won't do the entire thing. So I'm doing this now because the deadline has passed and um, Natasha has had to hand in her work. So. Um, yeah, so what I thought we'd do is I thought we'd go through the homework because it's quite a, an, it's a, it's a tricky little subject and I just want to make sure that you've got the rules. So uh, the homework will be available underneath. I will copy and paste the link to the files underneath so you can open that up and have a look. All right, you can open that up and have a look. So the main thing this is talking about is the following. When you have an ABC verb, stop. If you don't know what an ABC verb is, that is my terminology. That is a verb which uses a reflexive and a verb and a preposition. So, se, s'occuper de, se souvenir de, s'habituer à, um, se mettre à, s'inscrire à. Yeah, so they are verbs which are commonly formed with a reflexive to the left and a uh, preposition to the right. Um, if you don't know what those are, I will pop the link underneath before I pop everything else up, so you can see, uh, you can you can familiarise yourself with what an ABC verb is, because this is a pretty useless video if you don't yet know what you're doing. So to do this video, you need to know how to use de, dans, and en. So what we call the trident verbs, or what I call the trident verbs. So that video will be there. And you need to be comfortable with saying things like, I remember the, you know, I remember the boy. Je me souviens du garçon. So it's not a beginner's homework. Okay. So going back to ABC verbs, when you have an ABC verb, we can use them with the reflexive and the preposition. So je, I, re, I remember the, um, I remember the situation. Je me souviens de la situation. I remember it. Now, when you've got a normal verb, it is the same as the word for him. So, I see him, je le vois. I see it, masculine, je le vois. Same word. I eat it, something feminine, a pizza, je la mange. I see her. I, I touch her, je la touche. So it will be the same word as the him or the her. That is in a direct normal verb. If you are using, focus in, focus in, if you are using a verb where you use de as your preposition, you will never use le or la. I will say that again. If you are using a verb where you use de as your preposition of choice, in an ABC verb, like, you know, je me souviens de, or in a normal verb, j'ai besoin de, or I talk about je parle de, you will never in that arrangement use le or la. Yeah? So, for example, if you say, I remember him, je me souviens de lui. So, when you've got an ABC verb, and you've got... Uh, a pronoun, a shortcut. I mean, we're not saying I remember Luke, we're saying I remember him. You're going to have to do the whole thing in full. Je me souviens de lui. Now, in other bits of French, you don't like doing that. You don't say I speak to him, je parle à lui. You can for emphasis, but you'd say je lui parle. So this homework, this work, this video is looking at different ways of using different pronouns according to the advanced rules. So, I'll say that again. An ABC verb with a person, with a person, you are never going to stick your person as a shortcut before the verb. With a thing, with a thing, you can. If you have a D with an ABC verb, as you know, if you've already seen the videos, you can use EN. Or if you've got an A with an ABC verb, you can use E. 
So, for example, I'm getting used to it, the verb s'habituer à. The shortcut will be je m'y habitue. Um, I'm signing up to it. Je m'y inscris. Je me y inscris. If you are using a person with an A, B, C verb, so I'm getting used to him. Je m'habitue à lui. And you're going to have to put moi, toi, nous, vous, lui, leur, sorry, lui, e on the end. You're going to have to use the people that you would normally put after the words like with or for. Yeah. So, if you've got the word de in your sentence, it doesn't matter whether you are in an ABC verb or whether you are just in a normal verb situation with de, you're going to do the same thing. People are going to be de plus the person. So, de moi, de toi, de lui, de nous, de vous, de, d apostrophe ux. And objects, things, and we're going to call them things because in language, a person can be an object, in, you know, like a direct or an indirect object. So, a thing. So, if you say, for example, I need it, and you're talking about a thing, a de verb can turn the thing into an en, en. So, I need it, j'en ai besoin etc. So this is a really long-winded way of saying if you have an ABC verb, when you use de with a thing, you're going to turn it into an en if you want a shortcut. If you want to use the whole verb normally, fine. I remember the, the situation. Je me souviens de la situation. I remember it. Je m'en souviens. If you've got an ABC verb with a person, you will never do that. You will never put the person before the verb. You will keep them to the right of the de. If you have an ABC verb with an A, so se mettre à, s'habituer à, s'inscrire à, there's plenty more. Again, if you have a thing, you can use the shortcut. So this time it will be an E, letter Y, in the middle of your verb. So je me, tu ti, il si, whatever. If you have a person again, again, with an ABC verb, this person will have to come after your preposition. You can't use the shortcut. So, for example, I'm getting used to him. Je m'habitue à lui. Okay? So, where this homework gets tricky is you are going to have the fourth option. So, you've got dirt with an ABC. You've got dirt without, without an ABC. You've got at with an ABC. When we've got a as your preposition of choice with a verb but you're not in an ABC, ABC situation, you kind of have two options. And I don't mean options as in you can choose. I mean as in one will be one for one set of verbs, and one will be one, you know. So, for example, parler à quelqu'un. Parler à quelqu'un. I speak to him. Je lui parle. Permettre à quelqu'un. I allow him. Je lui permets. Penser à quelqu'un, to think of somebody. Penser à quelqu'un. Je pense à lui, not je lui pense. All right? So, let's look at the homework and let's focus on that that is the one that's going to be problematic. So, I'm sorry for the long warm-up, but what I'm basically saying is de in a verb, doesn't matter if it's ABC or not, same shit every time. On for the thing, if you're using a thing, de plus the shortcut word like de moi, de toi, de lui, de nous, de vous, de, after the de. A, if it's in an ABC, person, a moi, a toi, a nous, a vous, a eux, a, um, not aux eux, which I hear, a eux, with a thing, e. Final category, a preposition when you don't have an ABC, when you don't have a reflexive with it as well. That's the one we've got to be careful of because we've got two situations. The, per the, the, the thing will more than likely still be E, but when we're in a person, so we're looking at the possibility of using a verb with A, when we're using a person, that's when we have two options and that's what we're going to be looking at for some of them today. So when you want to uh, open up, if you could just open up the work that I've sent you and have a look underneath. So. Corriger les répétitions en remplaçant le nom répété par un pronom personnel. Correct the repetitions, replacing the repeated noun with a personal pronoun. So in other words, swap the thing, the name, the, you know, the, the proper word for um, a shortcut word. So when it says, Ma mère a vu un personnage bizarre. 
Elle se méfie de ce personnage bizarre. My mom has seen a strange character. She mistrusts. Now, the verb to mistrust is se méfier de. Look at it. Does the verb look reflexive to you? Yes, it does. Does it have a preposition after that verb? Yes, it does. Preposition like a or de, yeah? Um, yeah, so that makes, means it's an ABC verb. So the minute we know we've got an ABC verb, and particularly if we've got a de, we know what we're doing. People use de plus the pronoun, and things use a different pronoun, en, and stick it in the middle of the sentence. So she doesn't trust this strange character. Let's say she doesn't trust him. Elle se méfie de lui. So we get rid of the word ce personnage bizarre, the words. We keep the de. She doesn't trust him. Elle se méfie de lui. Okay? Uh, so ma mère a vu un personnage bizarre. Elle se méfie de lui. Number two. Je n'aime pas les compliments exagérés. Je me méfie des compliments exagérés. Or des compliments exagérés if you were doing the link. So I don't like exaggerated compliments. I don't trust them. Now look at it. Same verb, so we know it's an ABC, we know the prone, the preposition of choice is a de. An exaggerated compliment, is that a thing or is that a person? It is a thing. So we can't use de plus the word unless we're using the word in full. You're quite welcome to keep using de plus your full word, as is in the original sentence. So don't be scared by je me méfie de, that just means de plus the word the. It's still an ABC, it's still Je me méfie de. That's the verb that's going on there. So I don't trust them. And notice that se méfier is negative. You don't need to use ne and pas as well. So I don't trust them. We're going to have to... What did I say is the pronoun we're going to use when we're using a de verb and we're then using an it or a them or an anything. What's the pronoun that we use with de? En. So I don't trust them. Je m'en méfie. So basically, if I said I don't trust them and I was talking about people, I would say je me méfie de. Because people with the de, particularly in ABC, you can't use on in the middle of the sentence. You have to say de plus somebody. I don't trust them using um, objects, using things. Je m'en méfie. So it totally depends. It's not the same English. It's not the same French for the same English. Um, number three. Uncle, l'oncle Jules a une collection de timbres. Il tient beaucoup à sa collection de timbres. So, Uncle Jules has a stamp collection. Great for him. He holds a lot to his stamp collection. In other words, he's, he cares about it a lot. Now, you might go, oh, care about. Isn't that s'occupé de? But that's to actively care about. I mean, as in, he thinks a lot of it. So, look at the verb for me. Tient beaucoup à... Could you, so what is the infinitive in this verb, in this sentence? Tenir, to hold. Is it an ABC verb? No. There's no se tenir or, you know, il se tient or none of that. No. So that means we, we look at the word very closely. What is the preposition that comes after tient? Ah, don't be confused by beaucoup. That just means that's an adverb. That just means that you've stuck an adverb after your verb. That doesn't bother you. That doesn't, that doesn't change anything. I mean, I get washed. Je me lave bien is a verb. It's reflexive. It's got an adverb after it. Well, it doesn't make it reflexive. If it's... Um, je me souviens bien de lui, that's still an ABC. The, the me is the reflexive. The souviens is the verb. Bien, we've just thrown in to make the verb more powerful, but we then still have a de. So don't be bothered by the adverb. So, in other words, il tient beaucoup à sa collection de timbres. So, he cares a lot about his stamp collection. If we were going to make that a pronoun, he cares a lot about it. So, it here, we're using an it. When we've got an a and we've got a thing, not a person, we're safe to use our shortcut for a. What's the shortcut for a? I. So, il y tient beaucoup. I-L, new word Y, new word T-I-E-N-T, beaucoup. Okay? Next one. Paul loves his girlfriend. Paul adore sa copine. Il tient beaucoup à sa copine. Now, is this a reflexive verb again? No. What's the preposition of choice here? A. Yeah. Is girlfriend a thing or is it a person? It is a person. So we can't use I. We can't say il y tient beaucoup. 
we keep the preposition